VO2 max or maximal oxygen consumption is a measure of the maximum amount of oxygen your body can utilize during intense exercise. It is often used as an indicator of an individual's cardiovascular fitness and aerobic endurance. A higher VO2 max typically indicates a better ability to transport and use oxygen during exercise, which can result in better physical performance and endurance. Welcome back to Triple P for pushing past the precipice. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos to break through to your next level in your fitness journey. Understanding VO2 max. VO2 max is a quantitative measure of your body's aerobic fitness and represents the upper limit of your body's ability to transport and utilize oxygen during physical activity. It is expressed in milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body weight per minute. Here's a deeper understanding of VO2 max. VO2 max is a reflection of your aerobic capacity. It measures how effectively your cardiovascular and respiratory systems can deliver oxygen to your muscles, where it's used to generate energy, or known as ATP, for physical work. VO2 max is associated with aerobic exercise, which relies on oxygen for energy production. In contrast, anaerobic exercise, like weightlifting or sprinting, doesn't rely on oxygen and doesn't significantly impact VO2 max. Athletes in sports like long distance running, cycling, and rowing often have high VO2 max values because their sport demands sustained aerobic effort. A higher VO2 max indicates the potential for better endurance and overall physical performance. Factors affecting VO2 max. Several factors can influence your VO2 max, some of which are beyond your control, but many can be improved through training and lifestyle changes. Genetics play a significant role in determining your baseline VO2 max. Some people naturally have a higher genetic potential for aerobic exercise, while others may have to work harder to improve it. VO2 max tends to decline with age, primarily due to a decrease in muscle mass and a decline in the body's ability to transport and utilize oxygen. However, regular exercise can slow down this decline. On average, men tend to have higher VO2 max values than women. This is partially due to differences in muscle mass and body composition. Nevertheless, women can still achieve substantial improvements in their VO2 max through training. Your current fitness level significantly affects your VO2 max. Untrained individuals often have lower VO2 max values, while regular exercisers can achieve higher values through consistent, structured workouts. Certain medical conditions, such as heart or lung diseases, can limit your ability to improve your VO2 max. It's important to address any health issues with a healthcare professional before embarking on a fitness program. Lifestyle choices, including smoking, sedentary behavior, and an unhealthy diet can negatively impact VO2 max. Making positive lifestyle changes can help enhance your aerobic capacity. Before we continue, remember to hit the subscribe and like button for more content and write a comment below if you have any questions or thoughts on this topic. How to increase your VO2 max. Engage in regular aerobic activities like running, cycling, swimming, brisk walking, or other forms of cardio workouts. These exercises stimulate your cardiovascular system and improve oxygen utilization. Aim for regular workouts, ideally three to five times per week. Consistency helps build and maintain your aerobic fitness. To increase VO2 max, you need to push your body beyond its comfort zone. High intensity workouts such as interval training or tempo runs are effective for this purpose. Interval training involves alternating between short bursts of high intensity exercise and periods of recovery. For example, you might sprint for 30 seconds and then jog or walk for a minute, repeating this cycle several times. As your fitness improves, increase the intensity, duration, or frequency of your workouts gradually to keep challenging your body. Incorporate different forms of aerobic exercise to prevent boredom and overuse injuries. Variety can also stimulate different muscle groups. A balanced diet provides energy and nutrients needed for your workouts. Carbs are crucial for fueling aerobic exercise while proteins aid in muscle repair and recovery. Allow your body to recover between high intensity workouts. Overtraining can lead to burnout and decreased performance. Listen to your body and incorporate active recovery days. Stay well hydrated to maintain exercise performance and promote overall health. Dehydration can negatively affect your ability to exercise at a high intensity. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Restorative sleep is vital for recovery and optimal physical performance. And always, if you're new to exercise or have any underlying health concerns, consult a healthcare professional or fitness expert to create a safe and effective exercise program. Measuring VO2 max. Measuring VO2 max typically requires specialized equipment and expertise. Here's a more detailed look at how it's done. The golden standard for VO2 max measurement is a lab test conducted by exercise physiologists or healthcare professionals. You typically perform a graded exercise test on a treadmill or stationary bike, starting at a low intensity and gradually increasing until exhaustion. During the test, your oxygen consumption 
and carbon dioxide production are measured, allowing the calculation of your VO2 max. There are two primary methods for measuring VO2 max, direct and indirect calorimetry. Direct calorimetry measures heat production to calculate oxygen consumption, while indirect calorimetry estimates it based on the ratio of oxygen to carbon dioxide in the breath. Indirect calorimetry is more common and practical. Lab tests are the most accurate. There are field tests and equations that provide rough estimates of VO2 max. These tests, such as the Cooper 12-minute run or the Rockport walk test, are more accessible and do not require lab equipment. They're useful for tracking changes in fitness over time. If you want to learn more about the top push-up variations to carve your chest, click over here and watch this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to show your support by liking sharing, and subscribing to the channel.